Ladies and gentlemen, Mazal Tov. The families welcome you here today for a very special Simcha celebration. At this time, it is requested that everyone kindly put away their cell phones for the duration of the ceremony. It is a cell-free zone, as requested by the bride and groom. Thank you very much for your understanding. Enjoy. Mazal Tov. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
May all of you who enter, friends, family, of course, Daniel and Merav, Stephen and Leslie, may all of us be blessed in the name of Adonai as we stand here to celebrate Jonathan and Julie. Now, I've been thinking very hard about what I wanted to say to you this evening as an introduction. And we're going to go all the way back to a name that you may or may not be familiar with. Yochanan ben Zakkai. If we go back to Yochanan ben Zakkai, we can credit the survival of the Jewish people, all of us here today, to his secret escape from Yerushalayim 2,000 years ago, as it in the Beit HaMikdash, burned to the ground during the Roman siege. And he negotiated with Vespasian, who would become the emperor of Rome, to relinquish all of Israel, everything, save one little tiny town, Yavne. Ben Zakkai would build a yeshiva there with his five most gifted disciples. And when it finally came time to launch his prized students from the nest of Torah so that they could become the first shluchim in Jewish history, Ben Zakkai famously asked them a question. And the answer to it is very important for this evening. Go out, observe. Which is the righteous and honorable way to live? In other words, after years of teaching, cultivating, nurturing, I'm sending you off to create homes of your own. What attribute above all else will enable you to be successful in this endeavor to make the right choices, to create a meaningful life? Now your parents standing on either side of you, they should empathize with this moment. It's the same hope, the same trepidation that every parent experiences when they send a child off into the world. Do they know the attribute that will make them make the right choice? Like all things Jewish, these five disciples had five different answers. How can one ensure a meaningful life, a virtuous life? We go to Rabbi Shimon. It literally means one that sees that which is yet to be born. Term foresight's insufficient. To be a roet and olad, to sit across from Julie on a second date. In your words, Jonathan, to see the future with her. Roet and olad, to see that which was yet to even come about. You knew instantly she was special, but as she revealed her passion for family, for the Jewish people, her spirituality, as her warmth, her generosity of spirit overwhelmed you, you knew, and this is a direct quote, this is the woman who can help me build the home that I want, the life that I want. You could see it. I knew the moment I saw her, she would be a great mom. By day five, you'd called your closest friend, and you confessed, I'm getting married. Now, you're very compatible. Anybody who knows you knows you're compatible. You have similar interests, sports, music, food. Compatibility is for friendship. Compatibility is for friendship. This is something far different. The Mishnah tells us, know where you come from in order to know where you are going. And it was on this night, the fifth date 
that together you bonded over the past. You shared stories of grandparents. You shared stories of great-grandparents, stories of struggles and successes, stories from the four corners of the Jewish world, expulsions, Shoah, migration, resettlement, every story of adversity and obstacle offset by one of perseverance and triumph. Because the common denominator was always dedication to family. Generation after generation, it surrounds you now. Shalom bayit, lavba, love. You cried together that night over your admiration for your grandparents, confessing your aspirations that you'd like to be just like them. Now I know, Jonathan, Oma's smiling down with nachas. And she's bragging to your relatives and your ancestors and Olama Ban. She's elbowing them and she's saying, See, I knew he would make the right choice. And that's where we are the right choice. I can picture you both at the Idan Reichel concert early in your relationship, your linked arm in arm, and I can still hear him singing, Im telech mi chabekoti kacha, mi shamaoti basofa yom. If you leave, who will hold me like this? Who will hear me at the end of the day? Who will comfort and calm? Only you know. You saw your futures in each other from the very beginning. You continue to see your futures in each other as you stand there under the chuppah. And tonight is just the first step in creating your story. And as we begin with Berkat Kedushin, in honor of the past that you both so celebrate, we use a Kiddush cup, a Kiddush cup from Daniel's family. It is from the 1700s. We use a Sidur, also from your father's family. It dates to I'm more nervous holding this than I think I was my first child. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam borei pri hagafen. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam asher kitshan v'mitzvotah v'tzivanu al arayot v'asalano et anusot atilano et anusot lano al yidei chupa v'kidushin. Baruch atah Adonai, Mekadesh, Amo Yisrael, Al Yidei Chupaha, V'Kidushin. Amen. As you share this cup, may you share in all things. May your bitterness be sweetened, and may your sweetness be elevated exponentially in your day together. At this point in our ceremony, I'm going to invite the Edim uh, to help us with the Kinyan of the Ring ceremony to please come forward. This ring, you are consecrated to me. You are consecrated to me. To my wife. To my wife. According to the laws. According to the laws. Which is Moses. Of Moses. And Israel. And Israel. Amen. At this point, I'm going to invite Jonathan Saba up to the bima, please.
in a world as unpredictable as ours, where we don't know whether or not flying can take place, where we don't know if travel can take place, to say it is a zakut, a privilege, to have Jonathan's grandfather here from Israel to read the Ketubah is an understatement. I'm going to hand it to him now. I'm going to read about half of the Ketubah and then offer a bracha, a blessing for Jonathan and Julie. אני בערב הזה קורא את הכתובה. אני זוכר אתכם כשהייתם ילדים קטנים. משפחה יקרה. נכנסתם למשפחת פשלס. שורשים עמוקים. יש להם ספרים שנכתבו עוד לפני 200-300 שנה. מצדי, מצד ההורים, מצד, מצד האם, אני תימני. ידוע לכל העולם שהתימנים אורגינל, משפחה יקרה, אנחנו עכשיו שותפים ביחד. איזה ילדה נחמדה, איזה בחור יפה, אלוהים יברך אתכם. הכלה הבאה על בתיך, תהיה כרחל בכליעה, אמן כן יהי רצון. ביחד בשבת, תשע עשר יום לחודש אדר הראשון. שנת חמשת אלפים ושבע מאות ושמונים ושתיים שנה לבריאת העולם לעניין שאנו מונים כאן מיאמי, ביס, פלורידה, אמריקה הצפונית. איך החתן יהונתן שי בן דניאל ומירב אמר לה דב בתולתה יונה חיה בת שמחה ולאה מרים הווילה לינתוק דת משה בישראל וענה אפלח ואוקיר ואזון ואפרנס יתיכי ליכי כלכות גבראין יהודאין והלחין ומוקירין, וזנין ומפרנסין נשאם בקושתה דרעה. ויה הבנה ליחי מהר בתורתי כסף זו זחת מתן וחזה ליחי מתאור הייתה. רבותיי, אני מאחל לכם כל הבריאות שבעולם. אני לוקח את הפה של פלס, 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 פלס. ואני לוקח את המם ממרב, כמה זה? שמונים ועוד עשרים ועוד ארבעים. מאה עשרים, יהי רצון שיהיה לכם שנה, שנה, שנים ארוכות כמו שרבנו, חי מאה ועשרים, גם אתם, לא כהו עיניו ולא נסלחו, אתם תחיו מאה עשרים שנה, לא יהיה נסלחה ולא, ולא זה, תהיו בריאים, השם יברך אתכם בכל מעשי ידיכם, וחג הקדוש ברוך הוא ייתן להם שעות נפחים לטובה, ותבנו בית כשר בישראל. יעבודה. יהודים, אנו יהודים מכל קצות העולם, התפזרנו בכל העולם, היום אנחנו אתם באים לבנות בית כשר בישראל, כרחל וכליאה, השם יברך אתכם, ימלא משאלות לבכם לטובה, כלל הברכות האמורות בתורה, במשנה ובאגדה, יתברכון בכון ובזרעכון ובזרע זכרן עד עולם, אמן כן יהי רצון. For those of you that understood, it is a tremendous uh, privilege and, and honor to be able to hear such words of Torah and such a bracha. For those of you that didn't understand, I will tell you this. Um, you'll see the translation at some point in the video. Um, but what's most important, and I think that many of you who are, who are Ashkenazim can understand, um, one of the things that we miss most is the accent of our grandparents and great-grandparents, that Yiddish accent which has disappeared. For the Israelis that just heard Jonathan's grandfather speak, that is an authentic Timani accent. That is an accent of an immigrant who came to settle in the land of Israel. And that accent, like the ones of our grandparents, well, it's not around forever. And so to be able to hear that, regardless of whether or not you understood it, is to truly listen to history to truly listen to love and the perpetuation of the Jewish people. And I can't believe I had to follow that. <laughs> so
So at the very beginning, Jonathan, you looked at her and you said, this is the woman who could help me build the home I want. But there was a problem. And it was called the state of Florida. This was a red line. Some of us are built for the ski slopes of the Swiss Alps, others of us for the humidity of Florida's beaches. So long as these two types of people never fall in love, the world remains in balance. But you fell in love. Now, Jonathan, we know you're competitive. Soccer, tennis, skiing, it doesn't matter. We can imagine you bringing the same competitive flair to this geography debate anywhere but Florida. But what is a home? What is a home? When you discounted Florida initially, you were thinking of a house, not a home. They're very different things. We say homesick, not house sick. We say house sitting, not home sitting. Hometown, not house town. Home field, not house field. A home is clearly not a physical structure. You've got two idioms in English about a home. Neither of those are right either. Home isn't where you hang your hat. That reduces home to nothing more than a physical space. Home's not where the heart is either. That just reduces home to a feeling about a place. And I love Boston. That's the city of my childhood, but that's not my home. Why do you live in Florida now? Why did you cross that red line? The answer is because the words of a 2,000-year teaching from the Gemara echoed in your ears. Lo karati li ishti ishti, li ishti beti. Rabbi Yossi admitted in the Talmud, I never called my wife wife. I called her home because she is what makes my home. Home is not where you hang your hat. Home's not where the heart is. In fact, home's not even a physical building or a place. It's a person. Julie, you were Jonathan's home. With Jonathan, of course, you were Julie's. Where you live's inconsequential. Doesn't matter so long as you're together. Shalom bait doesn't mean peace in the house. It means peace in the home, peace with each other. Now, you just took wedding photos. One of them is going to be framed on your wall. Now, for those of us that just walked in, we saw wedding day pictures of parents and grandparents. Maybe you've even seen your great-grandparents' wedding pictures. And when these moments, those wedding photos, when they were captured for your parents and grandparents, their life stories were yet to be written. Their only certainty, your only certainty in this moment under this sacred chuppah, your only certainty is the foundation of the past that they stood upon and that you stand upon now. Strong, loving families defined by Shalom Bayit. Now, both of you, you admitted your relationship was elevated. It was catapulted to a new level after seeing each other in a family setting. Families, different traditions, same common denominator. Seeing how you interacted with siblings, parents, cousins, your sister's wedding in Israel. You were the glue that brings all the cousins together. V'shinantam levanecha. We say it twice a day in the Shema. You shall teach your children. Not by telling them. You didn't learn this by your parents telling you about Shalom Bayit and Ahava. They showed you. Your grandparents showed you. All of it infused from the tenets of Torah a gift from Hashem. God created an intersection of your life's paths, but what propelled you to this moment was seeing in each other the possibility of duplicating the incredible family dynamic you've both been privileged to enjoy. You see each other and you see a home. You see each other, you see the future. And as I said before we broke the plate, standing here you picture the end, gray, old, a Shabbos table, children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren. It happens in a flash. It doesn't happen by accident, and it doesn't happen without work, faith in each other, and collaboration. As we send you off as a couple, we send you off with your future in mind.
nach us. And let us all say, Amen. Amen. As we drape Jonathan and Julie in a talit, I'd like to invite uncle of the bride, Michael Kramerson, family friend of the bride, Steve Gorlick, brother-in-law of the groom, Alan Crotoro, uncle of the groom, Ralph Friedlander, family friend of the groom, Alan Gott, friend of the bride and groom, Andrew Zuckerman, and brother-in-law of the bride, Ari Hausman, to lead us in the Sheva Brachot. Use a kiddish cup. It was used by Leslie's parents, and Leslie and Stephen, and of course, it'll be used by Jonathan and Julie. Amen. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam Shevachol Bara Likvodo. Amen. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam Yotzer Adam. Amen. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Yatsar Et HaAdam Betzalmo Betzalem Demut Betzalem Demut Tavnito Ve Vinato, Kinlo, Vehit Kinlo, Mimeno, Mimeno, Binyad, Binyad, Ade Ad, Ade Ad, Baruch Ata Adonai, Yotzer Adam, Yotzer Adam, Amen, Amen. Sos Tassis, Betagal Hakara. בקיבוץ בניה ותוכה בשמחה. ברוך אתה אדוני משמח ציון בניך. אמן. שמח תשמח אחרים אהובים, כי שמחה יצריך בגן עדן מקדם. ברוך אתה אדוני משמח חתן וכלה. Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Baras Asan Mesimchatan Mekala Asher Baras Asan Mesimchatan Mekala Kila Rina Ditsa Vechedva Ava Veachva Veshalom Hashem Elokeinu Yishama, Yishama Ve'are Yehuda U'lepotzot Yerushalayim U'kol sason ve'kol simacha Kol 
Adonai, mesamer chata imakala. to invite Daniel and Merav, Leslie and Stephen to offer a bracha for Julie and Jonathan. God always guard you and keep you. May God always shine light upon your face. May God raise you up upon his wings. Always show you toward peace. Don't break it yet.
if you love so strong, oh baby, here I am, sign, seal, yo. And that time I went and said goodbye, now I'm back and not a stranger. 